Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of Concrete Jungle coming at you. Uh, Concrete Jungle, we've done a complete series of it, played every single mission. I think there's only like two missions in the campaign, and we only got like two stars or something. Uh, but we did complete it. Yeah, Redwood Coast and Old Haven. Oh, there's three, New Shire. New Shire as well. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Uh, what I wanted to bring up was um, this game has actually been really good from like a calming perspective. Uh, when I come home from work, uh, actually, now that we're in the age of viral infections and such, I'm working more from home than ever before, which is wonderful. But this has actually been a wonderful game for me to just de-stress and just chill out. And I guess to take that to one step further, if you know me at all, you know I like to play games in a way that they're not supposed to be played. So I fired up a custom game, Versus, and I thought, what would happen if I took on two AI? And let me explain how this game normally operates. The way this game normally operates is I get a turn, I get to make my placements, my enemy gets a turn, they get their placements, I get a turn, and back and forth and back and forth, right? If we have a team of four people, or a party of four people, I get to go... Then Laney gets to go, this AI here. And then this AI, or this player gets to go, and then this AI gets to go. That's how this works. Back and forth, back and forth. Now, I thought about that a bit, and I was like, what happens if I'm my own team and that's it? This is interesting, because what I thought was going to happen was I would go, AI would go, player two, I guess, then I would go again, and then player four. So I would kind of fill the gap here, and I would be both player one and player three. That was my idea, but what happened was actually really interesting. I only get one turn every round. So I get to go, and then player two, Laney, the AI gets to go, and then player four gets to go. So I get half as many turns as the AI, and to that regard, I wanted to see if I could win. And it took me a bunch of tries. Here's what I've kind of come to the conclusion to. Starting purchases should be at zero. Game length 100 columns is about right. Uh, endless would be ridiculous. Um, 50 columns or less. The game is too short. And the person who I've decided to be my representative? My executor? I don't know, what, I don't know how I'd explain it. My character, I guess. Uh, doesn't have enough time to ramp up appropriately. And for this match, I usually play Giles. Giles is like my safe go-to. He's fun. Uh, he's got a little bit of late-game shenaniganry. Lots of points, lots of potential. Really like playing with him. However, in this case, I thought Marina Vasquez would be a better hit based on the way she operates. So, interest include tanks, cigars, scotch, archery, explosions, brute force. She's already my kind of lady, right? Awesome, awesome. <laughs> all, all joking aside... Um, there are a couple of things here that I really am interested in. First of all is prison. The prison collects points, but it's inverted. Now that means every negative tile that I put a prison on acts as if it's a positive point value for me, which is awesome. All the industrial cards create negative tiles, so that's awesome. Um, this actually can stack very well on top of itself and move in a very quick manner if played correctly. Uh, Marina also has a lot of heavy industry, a large factory right here. Uh, the foundry is awesome. Um, she also gets an invert card that is rechargeable, which is critical for this to work. If I get a couple of AI that are really getting some power points, I can invert that. That's what makes that work out nicely. Um, aside from that, uh, Marina also has a lot of defensive powers that I, I consider defensive powers. Um, that aren't necessarily, wow, necessarily, like, aggressive in tone. So in this case, look at this one, Silos Needed. Replace a chosen card in your deck with a Silos card. That might just sound like, oh, I don't like this one industry card, I'm going to get another industry card. Think of it this way. There's a lot of things in here that can create pollution. For example, Large Factory, add a pollution. Foundry, add a pollution. Uh, invert, add a red tape. I mean, there's a lot of things that's going to make Marina's deck really thick and not in a good way. So with all those pollutions, I can use the Silos card to replace a pollution with the Silos. 
So instead of me having to play a negative card, a card that won't do me any good, I can play a Silos card, which will boost my economy, which is a solid move. Um, aside from that, there's other cards, Budget Cuts, which allow me to delete cards from my deck. Again, removing negative cards that can keep playing Prisons and stuff. And in addition, there's this one here, Production Line, which allows me to duplicate a card and add a Pollution to my deck. This is critical as a tactic to use on the Prisons, because I don't get a lot of potential to have Prisons in my deck, and I just want a ton of Prisons. They add points, they add a ton of negative buffs on the field, which is awesome and it's going to screw up whichever AI I deal with. Um, aside from that, there's also Bunker I wanted to bring up. Bunker just allows you to just delete three cards, which is awesome when you get to tech level three, tech level four, right around here. You're going to have plenty of pollution in your deck, almost regardless of how you play Marina. So this is a really great thing to have just as a buffer to push it back. So that being said, this is kind of the strat I have. We're going to go up against two normals, because there's no easy difficulty. If there was an easy, I would prefer easy, but that's okay. Uh, we're trying this. This is my first ever recording this. I've tried a couple of runs to see if it was even viable. Uh, it's viable. It's difficult, but it's viable. Uh, I'm playing as Marina Vasquez. Let's take a look at our deck real quick. Um, in the beginning of the game, you can set up any tech level 1 deck that you'd like. See how there's a circle around one. I can't just start pulling in tech three cards or something. So I'm kind of stuck here in tech one, but let's talk about what we've got. We have to start with four houses. You can't not start with any houses. You have to start with four. We'll be turning that stuff into, into uh, prisons. So that's not really that big of a deal. So we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, what I've started with is a lot of industrial stuff, factory, which gives me three eco points, economy points. Wholesaler, another three. Substation only gives me one, but it increases the block size. And the reason why that's important is this card, Electronics Plant. Plus one economy for each other building in this block. If you stack this stuff up correctly, the Electronics Plant can actually be worth like five or six or seven economy if you do it properly. Maybe that's indus industry points. It's been a while since I played the tutorial. Uh, so I kind of forgot some of the verbiage, but let's add that back. Um, other ideas that I had for cards was something like this coal power plant, which isn't an awful choice, but the problem is it adds pollution a little too early to the deck. However, the benefit is, is it doesn't recycle. So this might be a really good way to keep a deck really slim-like. You know what, let's remove two electronics, put two coal stations in it. This might be a really great way to keep a deck thin. Um, telephone exchange seems interesting on paper. It messes with the expenditure threshold. Um, unfortunately, since it doesn't do anything for me from an industry economy-wise, that zero there kind of hits kind of hard, in my opinion, and doesn't really do much for me. A lot of this other stuff is kind of interesting. The other things that we're going to want to pay attention to are prisons as a whole. There's no way to search, is there? Wanted to take a good look at the prison card and kind of show it off. Where is that card? Fire station, police station. Where in the world is it? There. Okay, so it's a tech four card. Wow. Um, based on the icon here, you can see that it is this kind of a building, this class of a building. Each each card has its own class. These classes can work better together in groups, so it's important as a tactic if we want to consider these kinds of cards uh, to add to the deck. But again, the problem is prisons work on an inverted situation, so that really doesn't help. Um, okay, so I spent almost like 10 freaking minutes just explaining the strats, and the thing is I wanted to really get a lot of this technical out of the way, because when we're in the zone, when we're in the game, we're not going to have a lot of time to think about it. It's really just going to be boom, 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 and we just got to keep moving. So, aside from that, I think I'm kind of happy with this loadout. The extra pollution, I think, is something we can handle. Because these cards get chucked away pretty early, um, I think that's going to keep our deck nice and lean. So I think I'm happy with this. Um, yeah, I'll give it another moment, but I'm going to take a pause here, get a fresh cup of coffee and all that, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so real quick before we get started, there's one rule I needed to double check on. 
Uh, it's called Paperwork. If you have less than 12 cards in your hand, or in your deck, I should say, you are given a paperwork to get you back up to 12. So one of the dangerous things I wanted to keep in mind is Coal Power Plant is a single-time play card, but a pollution is added to our deck. So that keeps us at 12, actually, so we don't get burned by paperwork. Um, so we'll just have to see how this pans out. Uh, like I said, I was doing the electronics store, electronics plant before. So, uh, let's see how Coal Power does us. Maybe. Uh, I, second thought. Let's go back to electronics. <laughs> I'm too much of a chicken. I've already gotten this working already uh, with the current loadout. And the last couple times I tried, I tied. So I'm indecisive. I could probably go either way if you twist in my arm. But let's just go ahead and get started. So again, ways this is going to work is I'll get a turn. They will each get a turn. I'll get it. So I get literally half as many plays. And I'll consider this a victory if I'm within 10 points. Maybe 15 points. Like if I'm... 10 points away, I'll consider that a win. So let's get started. This is going to take a while. This might be multi-episode kind of a deal. So there's already a ton of randomness. My starting deck is randomed. Uh, the order of my cards are random. So this becomes a lot less of like a speed run situation where I could methodically figure stuff out. Uh, let's just literally get started. Wholesaler, substation, and I've already got some points. Another gas power plant. Wow. Wow. Um, I need to buy some points, some cards, so I can get my tech up. Let's do a gas power plant, why not? And a factory. Cool. So now we're going to see Laney literally take two turns. It's two different players doing it. So the other real problem with this is because I'm so heavy industry, um, the other players could actually monopolize on that industry and really get some Boku points off of me. So that makes this actually a bit more uh, interesting. But we're going to play our best. We're going to see how far we go um, into all that. So let's see here. Substation, more tech. I don't want a renovation. I don't want a welfare office. I definitely don't want a school. Definitely don't want a community garden. None of that interests me, so we're just going to wait. Uh, that goes there. Anything new? I keep forgetting what actually changes the card shop as opposed to just turns. Uh, let's just chuck us a house up there. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see here. Yep, right there is a really good example how they can kind of bank off of extra industry that I'm playing out. This kind of becomes a double-edged sword. I need a ton of industry so I can burn through my tech tree so I can get the prisons right away. But that also gives them a bit of an opportunity to bulk up on some of their purchases as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I really wish you electronics plants were a little earlier. And I Oh, I can link it. So this is where this works out great. Plus one economy for each of the building. I count three. I count seven right there. Oh, that was so good. Okay. Food processing plant is a single use. Let's pick that up. Another gas power plant, really? Um. Yes. Could go another food processing plant. Just really hit the industry really, really hard. Uh, but it's time to do this. Time to change out some of our stuff into prisons, because that's more what I need. Uh, let's see, here we're going to get a nice batch of three right here. That seems pretty decent. Boom, another purchase for next round. Hitting the prisons super duper crazy early is what makes this work, because I, I technically can't generate any points with this build. I don't have anything that would benefit anything I'm doing. Uh, I don't have any, like, supermarkets or grocery stores or car washes or anything that would boost my points. So everything, everything here is just big pain in the rumpus. So the Thompson twist twisters, the Thompson sisters are going to get a couple of points as a start. But these prisons here, 
Skills. Don't mess with me. Yes! Two prisons in a row. This is where we're going to actually get some points. So, let's see here. Prison, prison, factory? Yeah, I need to really start monopolizing on points as soon as possible. Um, I really want that three points that they have there. So I need to double down on this column specifically. Um, how do I want to do that? Well, I need a prison here, so that's clear. And if I can get another prison... So that actually, that column right there, if that doesn't move, that nets me seven points. But I'm wondering if we'll see, like, a renovation or a green or some other kind of strats from the... I'm just going to call them the Thompson sisters, why not? See if we're going to get anything else here. Now, the AI in this game is smart enough to know what they're doing. In this case, very specifically, what we're going to see is they're going to actually play cards that are, like, the green and all that stuff that will go against my... my prisons. Okay, they got five points. Totally fine. Uh, what I would absolutely love is another prison. Because I want to do something like this and another prison and really bank up on some points. Right now, however, though, this little bit is contested, and I do not want them to have it. Uh, I would get an industry bonus right here. I think that was the smartest thing I could have done. Um, I really, I, I really don't want to deal with these houses. I could place the house, or I could place pollution. Ah, uh, these screw up my plan so hard. Um, okay. Um, let's just place a house, I guess. Food processing plant. I know this is kind of a no-no. I can't get to another prison in any short amount of time. This would kind of seal the deal on this row. I know Laney doesn't have a ton of long-distance combat cards, I'll call them, I guess. Uh, stating, like, she can't play something here and have it affect over here at this early of the game unless it's a renovation, as I mentioned. Uh, this, is, this is the kind of decisions that completely screw me over because I don't know what's the best move. Uh... Yeah, that's burying literally four points, but they're going to get enough turns. They might be able to get... You know what? Seal the deal. Just seal the deal. That's a four-point steal. That's a lot of freaking points. Yep, I, I, I could have sworn I saw that coming. Oh, yeah, no, no. Place a bunch of houses where I can get at them. That'd be great. That would be brilliant. You could do that forever. Please do. And... So, I'll take ten points... Awesome. This really is a tough back and forth if you don't get your prisons quickly enough. Whew. Okay. This is the best I've done so far in this situation. Uh, now what we're gonna do... Yes! This is, this is also where this works out really well. Landfill. Delete two cards. Just... Right off. Right off the gate. So all the pollution, I can actually start actively deleting stuff. That's where we really want to pay attention. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Awesome. Um, let's see here. So the other thing we really honestly need to consider is not only our point value, but how we can also... Oh no, I didn't want that to clear. Damn it. Okay, well, too bad. Uh, also, how much damage we can deal them. So if I do something... I don't want to damage me, but if we could do something like this. Get some negative points for them on the field. That really, really helps. Really, really helps. This is all super delicate. I can't, I can't express enough 
how delicate all this is, because last time I tried this, uh, I think I was tied, and then the time before that I was 4 points behind, and the time before that I was 28 points behind. So, this is tough. Like, I have to literally fight for every single point. And this seems fairly simple in the early game, like not a lot is happening, but this is going to get frantic easily. Oh, come on. Place place that right here. Place No, 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 not that card. Nah. Suck. Okay. Whatever. Concessions, whatever. So she's smart. She'll put that green right here and bounce it off that. Yep. Smart, smart. Smirt, smirt. Okay, I don't see any prisons for a while. I'm tempted to just bounce up here and start building up a new empire kind of a thing. Uh, is there any industry I can build off of? No, there isn't. Uh, landfill would be nice. Said no one ever. And I get to delete two cards. How many cards do I have right now? 17. I could get rid of one pollution and like a wholesaler if I wanted to really start leaning up the deck, which I kind of want. Let's at least get rid of the pollution. Yeah, let's keep the deck nice and lean. Factory or wholesaler? I could go either way. Okay. So I think that puts me at literally 12, 12 cards. Leaning it up as lean as I can so I can get my prisons more often. Okay. Cool. I'm seeing some negative twos. I'm seeing some negative threes. Laney's smart enough to not build her stuff there. The benefit is, best of all... Okay, I'm at 14 cards. Easy. Okay. So right here is three points. Um, I go here. No, I, I, I want the points on the board. I want points on the board for me. Uh, prison. Uh, let's see here. Factory. Substation. Okay, that seemed like a good move. That worked out well. I love the big combos, but this game is a lot like Tetris if you're versus somebody. You know, the big the big four Tetris slammers, the quads, are beautiful. That's just sexy, sexy, sexy. But sometimes you just got to play a little bit more defensively. Lainey, if you could avoid that negative three, that would be awesome. Mega awesome. Actually, it's not even that big of a deal, even if she takes it, because I can build off some combos off other stuff. Damn it. Well, she took it. Good job, jerk butt. Um, I would love to steal those two points if I could. So let's build this up a little, I guess. Do I have another? I don't. Okay, so I don't want houses anymore in my deck. So I could actually start deleting cards with it. Now it's your problem. I could get rid of a house. Um, I need to thin down my deck, though. So maybe it's bunker time? How many cards do I have? 14? That's a little close. That's a little close. Uh, anything in the shop? Scrapyard. Awesome. Yep. That increases my tech level and all that fun, fun, fun stuff. Um, so I think I really want to push on this stack here. Wholesaler. I think something like that. So if I can get a prison, I can steal that two points away from her, and that would be... Oh, okay, that sucks a little. Okay, that was that was a fairly smart move. 
if you can't make positive, at least eliminate the negative, right? That that makes sense. I am rubber, you are blue. Good one, Marina. Um I'm not gonna get a prison. This should give me a ton of economy, though, which it did. Very nice. Um, uh, this is where this is where I have the problems. Um, let's get a bunker in the deck at least. It's gonna be a while until that shows up. I feel, but at least let's just get that in the deck. Um, let's see here. If I put the substation here, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put that scrapyard because I'm going to immediately burn a house. Oh man, if I had an electronics thing, this would be amazing. Um, uh, so many choices! This is actually going to go pretty damn fast too. So I'd like to go here and then link it, but that probably won't work. So let's just do substation and a scrapyard, delete a house. Okay. A lot of this game, similar to like Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all these kinds of deck building games, you're it's served. important to know what cards should be in your deck. <laughs> it's also important to know which ones shouldn't be in your deck. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep my deck nice and lean. We've got a nice lead, but that turns side... Ah, oh, that was a lot of points. Okay. See, exactly the turning sideways right now. But we've got a clean build path. This is fine, nothing is ruined. Okay. I have my bunker, I've got a factory, I need another card in my deck, because I've only got 14. None of that's what I want. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for the invert yet. Barracks is cute. But it's not at all what I want. Military Parade adds bonus. I don't want any of that. Um, nothing in here at all that I want. Uh, okay, let's do Industrialist. That'll keep me above 12, which is what I want. So, factory, bunker prison. Okay, so I can only delete one card. Uh, so that kind of sucks. That's kind of the thing, when it really comes down to it, it's all about timing, right? Uh, this doesn't collect any... any um, points or anything. So just delete the house, I guess. Well, cool. just get a couple of points on the board. When it's one versus one, one player versus one player, control isn't that difficult. Every single player, character, whatever, has their own mechanic, has their own everything in terms of how they operate. Um, so controlling the other player and how they do their deck building or filling their deck with garbage isn't too hard. Uh, Giles really plays nicely with that in terms of how he rolls because like, he can add scrumpy cards to other people's decks and it works out really, really well. Um, but playing against two people makes this just ridiculously difficult. Um, so I want to sabotage up their points pretty hard. Uh, 
prison makes sense there. Large factory substation, I guess? Okay, that's a lot of purchases right there. Landfill, delete two cards. Excellent. Increase my tech tree. It's exactly what I want. Um, I, need, I just need more general cards in my deck, though. And all these are like, play the card, throw it away, play the card, throw it away, play the card, throw it away. Like, I need to stay above 12 or I'm going to get a whole mess of paperwork, and I don't want it. I don't want it. Um... To keep the industry chain going, which would be nice. Uh, or I can sabotage them up for more points. Uh, points are more important. So I'll take a point. You can take a point. Oh, no, wait. The stack isn't cleared. Right. Right, right, right. Oof, still managed to get four points out of that. Well, it could have been way more and way worse, so I'm glad I did as much... Uh, s snowballing's not the right word. Like, kiboshing as I could. Okay, another two points for them. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna get nickeled and dimed to death. Uh... If this is... <laughs> houses become a liability... Pretty quickly, to be honest. Uh, so what? Pollution, prison... Pollution again? Well, there's the landfill, and I want to delete that house. So I guess so. Yep, that was kind of a throwaway turn. Got me two points on the board. Pretty happy with it, I guess. If I can get, like, two or three prisons in a row... I can get some solid work done, but it's going to take a while until I get to the next tech level, tech 3, for a card duplication to make that really work. This is very close. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this is panning out. This is really close. Okay. So, foundry, reduce... Economy threshold by one, add a pollution to card pickups. I don't really see any real good spots for this. Really want to build up my points. That'll close that out. Okay, so this will work out nicely, I think. So, landfill pollution houses. Right? Okay, I'm at 12 cards exactly. I gotta be crazy careful. So here's what we're gonna do to max out some serious points. If I play here, I won't get anything. And I'll only detriment them by one. However, if I place really quick, I got... Oh, I only got one placement. I was thinking... Of, I was saying out loud, like, if I could place, bam, bam, real quick, I can get both of the prisons down before it consolidates. But that's not gonna happen, because I only have one placement. Uh, so let's just go here, wrap up three points. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be crazy careful. Hey, if you could place a ton of factories over on my side, Laney, that'd be awesome. No! Anywhere except there would have been ideal. And there, too, you're at an absolute jerk. Yeah, the AI is, is pretty remarkably smart at times. There's not really a ton of opportunity that you have... You could be like, oh, watch this, I'm gonna do the double triple fake, and just like, oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? That totally sucks. Like that there's not a lot of that. Uh the game is relatively smart. Um, and now they've opened it up really nicely for me to bank a couple of points off of them. Because now this happens. And I'll take eight points. Awesome. Yeah, it's little stuff like that I gotta really monopolize on, or this is going to be a lot of crying. A lot of crying from me. Yep. See, now they get two turns. They're going to bank this up with the art house and the shops. Yep. Okay, see? That's... <laughs> Can't stroke your ego too hard with a game mode like this. 
Yeah, then even if the second laney just places green green in a factory somewhere that doesn't matter, that's a lot of points boost. Yep, and another green, and she's going to clear that out. And that's way more negative tiles I don't get to play with, which is even more detrimental for me. Okay, what do we have this turn? Wholesaler... I guess I'm going to do, like, wholesaler, substation, electronics plant. Uh, landfill really honestly excites me, but I can't do it because I'm starting to run out of bloody cards. Uh, because two of my cards are just straight up pollution cards. Let's do this. I want to get to the next tech level really, really hard. And one more, and we'll get to, uh, oh yeah, now I have houses on my st stupid. Oh, that's actually something I should mention. Every single time you hit a marker up here, you either get something added to your deck or a new ability. This last one's the most powerful. Uh, you get another placement every turn. So rushing the tech tree, absolute valid strat. Oh, let's see here. Oh, substation first. Uh... No, I want all those delicious negatives. Cool. And another purchase. Oh, good. So I'm seeing one of the Thompson sisters got 19. I think just bought another card, so that's 20 cards. Um, not a bad thing to have a bunch of variety, but the thing is, if you only get to play three cards a turn, it's going to take a while to get through your whole deck. So that's why one of my emphasis is emphases, emphases for this game is to keep the deck light, if ever possible. That way, the cards that I need that are rare, I'll get more often. They'll get cycled in more frequently. That that's kind of my go-to. Gosh, three prisons, I would be just so happy right now. No, you suck. Okay, that's a prison. This would be a one-for-one one trade. Um, what if I did, like... Factory prison. Uh... My word. Um, I don't want that house anymore. I could trade it off or try to delete it. Hmm. So many options, none of them any good. Really want the next tech level, though, because then I can start cloning off. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait. Okay, so do I bank on, like, three points right here? Yeah, the problem is that's well into her domain. Okay, let's just get some points for me on the board. I think that's more important. Uh, let's see here. Substation factory. Kind of ping her up a bit. Okay, that was worth it. That gave me another purchase, actually. It clears that line. You got one point! Trash talk lady. And now she'll get five, and I'll get four. Okay. Neck and neck. <laughs> hey, God. all things considered, I'm not doing too bad for a guy that only gets half of the plays, right? You gotta give me at least something here. Alright. So I would love something that could delete some cards. Landfill, thank you so much. That gives me the next tech level. Next up is production line. And what we're going to be cloning are the prisons. So that is where we're going to get 
the rest of our points because I don't want to deal with houses. Houses are crap. Houses are just no good for what I want. But what I can do here is I could do a little bit of sandbagging and completely ruin what she's got going on. Uh, I don't want that one to exist. So that happens and this happens and let's just chuck this houses anywhere. I have a lot of pollution. I've already said how much houses are a liability, but... Uh, a couple of landfills will fix me up just right. Get rid of some of these extra pollution cards that we got and everything. Lean it up real good. Now don't forget, there's also that invert strat that I'm looking into. That would be very, very helpful uh, when Lainey gets a lot of her combo multipliers up, when like a single property or whatever is like worth six points or seven points or something, something a lot more severe. That's where I'm going to want to have that kind of artillery. Um, this could just connect to anything. I can't even get to that prison right there. This matters a lot less, I think. Uh, yeah. Next turn will be better. <laughs> That's another danger. We're seeing the danger right here. Having a lot of... Having a lot of these pollution and junk cards in our hand. There are whole turns that we don't even really get to play anything meaningful. Ah, shut up, Laney. You're only five points ahead, okay? Keep talking crap. And by that I mean stop talking crap. You're hurting my feelings. Don't place it there. Thank you so much. Okay. So how can I absolutely demolish this uh let's see here prison the landfill's gonna kick that over to four and i'll steal all the points so pollution pollution boom that's an eight for me how many cards do i have 14 we're still in the safe zone oh my gosh i have so many prisons this is great Do I do a factory and kind of build up? Um, mer, 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 mer. I don't know. I could take one point here and give them the two points. Let's do this. Yeah, Spectacular Renovation adds points directly to a tile. So if Lainey was really hurting, what she could do instead of boosting her own points, she could actually boost my tiles and be like, hey, now your tiles are worth, yeah, just exactly like that. Making my property worth a little less, which is not ideal. And I don't like her for it, but it's a totally valid strat. I am going to bulldoze your stuff with prisons in a second here. Damn it! <laughs> so what? Factory, prison, prison? Just really, really hammer it down? I think so. Factory, prison, prison, and that steals two points for a seven. <laughs> oh, I'm so delighted. Oh, this is, uh, dicey. Okay, fair enough. That gets... It gets that going on. She could use the green and steal the stack. Oh, or she could just mess with my points some more. That's really funny. Oh, you suck so bad. Okay. I mean, this is all fair strategy. I just don't like it. Uh, let's see. Substation, substation, wholesaler. I get any points. Warehouse discards two cards. That's cute and all, but that doesn't really do a lot of what I won't do. Production line. Prison. 
Okay, so that takes care of all the prison cards I can get through that method. When we hit tech... Is it one, two, three? When we hit tech four, we'll be able to buy them from the card shop kind of organically. Uh, substation... just want the I just need the eco right now and that clears good move really good move just even these one two one two points Anything that boosts the score, really. Well, that'd be a perfect spot for a prison for a two-point swing. Okay. So this is really what I wanted for Christmas. Like, a ton of industry here. Uh, how does this card work again? Looks points. Minimum one, maximum two. Cannot go below one point. So factory there would be kind of stupid. Uh... Huh? Oh, let's see here. Toxic dump. Uh, that is a one-time shot. I'd like to get rid of more of these pollution cards. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of the houses, though. That's more of a problem. So I just chucked my houses at somebody else. Uh, probably the smart tr strat would have been, hey, use the... Uh, use the... Throw the pollution at somebody. Yeah. Could have been. So it'll only swing at two points, but that's okay, I think. Yeah, minus one for her, plus one for me. That's that's probably fine. Okay. Go back to school. Not as cool as I was hoping, but whatever. You could leave that minus three for me. That would be great, but I'm sure you're not going to do that. Yep. Ah, Jerkenstein 3D. <laughs> Ew. So many pollution cards. I well, still got six uh, production points out of that. Eco points or whatever. Yep, this is this is about where this gets dicey. Now, when I was doing earlier runs, what was actually happening is the Thompson sisters would be really high up on me, like for the first half of the game, and then I would get all my points back. Now, this has been a little different. Interesting, different, differently interesting. But this is going to be actually quite an episode maybe mini-series or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it right here on my turn. So thank you all for joining me. We'll cut an episode here, and we'll probably finish this up in one more episode. But yeah, 100 columns is a heck of a game. So thanks for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Uh, another episode of Concrete Jungle is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.